guys welcome back to my channel Claudie Cox I hope you guys are all doing really well today today I've got a really super one pot tray bake for you which I know you're going to love because I know my family love it if you want to see how I've achieved this dish stick with me and I'll take you through the process all of the ingredients shown here will be listed in the description box below To the baking tray, I'm adding some chopped potatoes, some courgettes, rainbow carrots, and I've got a selection of tomatoes, bell peppers, onions, and herbs, a mixture of herbs in this bowl. And to the tray, I will be adding some onions, some bell peppers, mixed bell peppers, some tomatoes, as well as some garlic and some mixed herbs. splash of olive oil and now for the seasoning and flavor good shake of the adobe seasoning some slap your mama cajun seasoning i bought this seasoning because i thought the name was so funny and i'm glad i did because it's a really lovely tasting flavor to add to your meal now I'm adding some onion salt and some garlic granules, some rock salt, good grinding of black pepper, some turmeric and ginger paste for a splash of color and warmth and some paprika for depth and flavor. Now massage all the spices and seasoning into the vegetables. Put the tray in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius and 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. To the wash and dried haddock, I'm adding some flavor salt, ancho chili and smoked paprika, some black pepper, jalapeno, yes guys we love it spicy and hot over here, a sprinkle of citrus smoked summer seasoning. For a pop of color to the whiteness of the fish, I'm adding some turmeric and ginger root paste. 
splash of olive oil. A few sprigs of thyme leaves and some garlic granules. Make sure to season both sides of the fish. After 30 minutes in the oven, I'm adding some diced chorizo to the roasted vegetables for extra flavor and piquancy with a bit of sweetness. I'm also adding some capers for sharpness and to cut through the richness and fattiness of the chorizo. I'm adding a bit of continental flavor here as well, some pitted green olives, just because I can and it looks very Mediterranean to me. Now for some asparagus that I'm going to break into halves so they can fit into the bowl nicely. Must not forget about the bay leaf. Now place the haddock pieces over the vegetables. Here come the lemon slices. Some butter for creaminess and richness. And a good squeeze of lemon juice to cut through the richness and add a bit of freshness to the dish. Place the tray back in the oven and cook for 15 minutes. There you have it guys, look at that, look at the colour. Here's my finished dish. Guys, if you really like this dish, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and share with your friends and family. I'd really appreciate that because you're helping out my channel. Take care.